Hey there guys, Newman Pro here, and I was debating this so much. I was debating if I should use the lucky how are he mat that we had, but I thought, no, I gotta bring out the Toradora one. Um, you know, I do have another mat that's on the way, um, actually. I got a great deal on it, so you'll see that eventually in the future one day. Um, I think I'll stick with these for a while. But, um, yeah, so why we're here? We're here for, I told you guys I'd have a special edition that was um, way pre-ordered, and eventually now it finally came. It had come on um, Monday, but I was busy um, the last few days, so I really didn't have time to even sit down and record. Now you guys know how busy I am. Um, so, <laughs> I really, I was out of town, part of it, so that's why. <laughs> it arrived, I put it aside, and I had to leave on Monday. But, um... Let's see what we got then for here. So, of course, there's the big old special edition box. Again, useful for my collection. And then, of course, we'll get out all these boxes here. Now, we don't necessarily need to worry about mapping, but that also kind of takes away from the possibility, a strong possibility of us getting, you know, two secrets. Um, but I've had some luck with these. As we know, I have had spots where I have gotten three secrets in a row. Well, not in a row, but three secrets out of these things. So maybe it will pay up for that. I've seen more videos getting... Uh, Simone just posted one where he got one secret. <laughs> one secret. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to sit and say too much. I mean, he got double ref, uh, double wrath and uh, double infinity. And so he had three boxes we're at thus far in his big neg six hundred opening and uh... you got two two infinities two rafts in the same box wasn't it well not the same box but in the uh... in two different boxes and i've already made my comment about that um... for those who may have seen it it is my video um... with one of my openings my uh... ray my wing raiders openings that's right um, so it was my Wing Raiders openings that had that, and what happened was I had two boxes of Wing Raiders that I know came from the same case, so they were mapped, um, but the big thing about it was we were so close to having the exact same Ultras and Secrets. Um, so I started to go, okay, well, I wonder if this is a possibility, you know, that they would have um, the Secrets on top of each other almost. And, you know, that may or may not have been the case. I didn't find out about the other boxes come from that case and kind of what happened to them. But we all know that the mapping does exist, and there's way too much video evidence right now to say otherwise that mapping is not a real thing. And so, yeah, mapping is, but how do these boxes stack up? You know, since you're really not mapping um, a box... <laughs> That'd be interesting if you said that, if you could map a box. Um, but here, I'll cut, guys, and uh, now that I'm done kind of jabbering on about that, I will cut and have all these open. Okay, guys, so I'm back. Uh, I've only opened up one box of Bosch. you got to think about this. From my perspective, I don't necessarily buy cases upon cases of things. So I only bought one box of Bosch, um, especially... Um, I didn't go out and buy more because I knew I already had this on the way. And with sort of what's happened with Bosch and the, the hits and stuff like that, um, <laughs> I really didn't think to buy anything more. So this special edition, hopefully this completes the rest of my rares that I need for the set. Um, but other than that, now we get all the promo stuff. So we get that promo out of here that everybody's wanting, um, and one of them is right here then, the Forge of the True Dracos, the, this spell card here that a lot of people are saying, hey, this is going to be a staple in many decks um, that use the Draco Slayers, um, but we'll see, we'll see how that happens, um, that'll be something just to keep an eye on, but then um, here we, all, we also got 23 Lancelot, which was one of the Missing numbers from my collection. Uh, as of right now, people who are trying to scoop up Zexel manga number eight for um, Utopia the Lightning, uh, I just checked online and most everything is sold out online. So you may have to pop into your neighborhood Barnes and Noble or something like that to see if you can catch one that's still out there. But uh, okay, well, let's uh, kind of go from here and let's see what we get.
And since I've already opened these up before, um, I'll probably I'll I'll speed through most of it. But uh, you know, we still want to know if we run into what we do. So Karma Eight, uh, rare Samurai Beast QB. Uh, super is Magic Specter Supercell. Wing Dynamis Charge. So I need like one more Rex. Is uh, for my Dynamis deck. I need one more Rex. So that's one super that uh, looking for then. Uh, still cav uh, cavalry of the Dynon. Dynon. And oh, well, there we go. An ultra. Black Luster Soldier, Sacred Soldier. So um, in that case, yeah, nice, nice card. I think I did get this one in the last pack, the Sacred Soldier as the ultra. And well, nice to start off pretty fast with an ultra here. Okay. So we'll put the uh, those ones there. Um, Oh, yeah, I think I'll, I'll separate everything off, so rares and supers, they'll get their spot. Just easier for me to sort out then when I go ahead and, uh, when I go ahead and actually put these away and put my extras in my boxes, uh, extra commons and extra supers, and then decide on what to get out there for you guys. I haven't really uploaded anything to purchase in a while. But uh, I still think this card is going to be important. I do. I really do. Um, see you all. All right. Guitar Turtle and Toad. The Toad. Oh, another one to point at with uh, Simone. Uh, <laughs> his, uh, he was trying to tear this Toad in one of the episodes. Um, and he couldn't do it. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> it's, that was just hilarious watching. It's like that freaking Toad just doesn't want to die. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I gotta take this phone call. It's on silent, but I'm watching it on my corner. Uh, hold up. Okay, guys, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I just had to take that phone call. Um, but here we go. We got another 23 Lance and another Forge of the True Dracos. Maybe the whole box will just be that. <laughs> That'd be more funny um, with all these packing consistencies. Or actually, um, packing consistencies. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Um, backs are just becoming predictable, um, which isn't necessarily a good thing uh, when you think about it. Because that's when a vendor can map out a whole case and then keep all the secrets to themselves and then sell only ones with commons. Um, Sword Trooper. But um, that's that's not a good idea. That's not a good thing. It's great for the, for the businesses, but... Um, not so much for the player base. And somebody who has access to the boxes, um, and then they just want to buy singles, the person who has access to the boxes or the cases are able to kind of jump everything ahead of you. Toon Busta Blada. And Guiding. Well, there's my play set of that, too. Um, so there's a play set of them. Er, supers, supers there. Toon Buster Blader. I love, I love the art on Toon Buster Blader. It's actually a very great artwork, I think. Just having to be Mr. Toon. Mr. Toon! Let's see, can we get a higher rarity out of this, or are we just going to have supers? We have another super, but it is Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon, so not a bad super. But just a box of supers, again, showing you how these can be so different. Into box three. We have a Beacon of White, which is another card then. that will be more useful once the rest of the Blue Eyes support gets here. But even to this day, it still is a useful equipped card, I think. Um... There's enough Blue Eyes Monster still to where you could use it, but it's going to meet its full potential once we get um, the next box. And then, well, there's Beast Eyes Pendulum Dragon. So, okay, a little variety. We'll try to keep out con keep consistency, see what happens. Um, are all the Beacons of Light with Beast Eyes? Uh, 
what are we looking at here? Um, Taryn and Kaiju Slumber. So one of the things I like to do in these openings is kind of pick out odds, ratios, get a feel for what it is. So that's another reason I typically will go slow or sort things out like this. Um, okay, any, and Tuning Magician. Okay, so just more supers. Because it gives you an idea about the box then as well. So it gives you some box ideal ratios. Um, obviously, we know that when I open up a box like this and I get three secrets, then there's something there, um, you know, in the odds. Because not necessarily do they have to, when it comes down to this, keep the same printing odds that they were doing beforehand for the actual, the first edition boxes. Um, they don't have to necessarily print at the same odds. They can print more secrets if they want. Um, oh, there we go. Well, an ultra. Uh, Buster, B Buster Blader to Destruction Swordmaster. But they don't have to print at those same odds. The statement goes that it's just based on with the run of this set. So with the run of this set that's not the first editions, they have a certain ratio. And that ratio for the boxes themselves, for that first edition, that ratio roughly translates into two secrets per box. And then four ultras, and then the rest being supers. But, as we can see right now, that's not necessarily the case. People are getting shorted one, people are getting... I haven't seen an extra secret yet. Um, I've only seen shortenings. I have not seen somebody give me proof that they've gotten an extra of one other thing over the other. But... And there we go. See? So, Beast Eyes along with Beacon of White again. So I haven't seen that. I don't have the proof yet on that regards, but it's a theory. And then when it comes down to these boxes, they could print, you know, on average, three to the box. So to the box that has ten in here, they could print three secrets to that. Um, so if that starts to become a consistency, then people will start to see these as more of the... Uh, better ones to go with in terms of money because now you're going 30 pa 30 packs three secrets to two to two secrets out of 24 and the price is sometimes for these reprint parts to get the uh, the box itself is actually less expensive than getting the 24 box sometimes uh, sometimes I'm not saying it's all the time um, in this case yes it did cost me less to get this box than it did to get the one first edition box of Bosch that I did have. Pendulum Reborn, Dharma Eye Magician, okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can get another Ultra out of here. We haven't run into a secret yet, so this could be the box of no secrets. <laughs> That's pretty odd, you know, not one secret out of 30 packs. In the same, essentially close to run. Um, Arisen Gaia, well, we got that. Uh, Twin Twister, okay, well, Twin Twister is one of the better supers to get out of here. So we'll take that, we'll definitely take that. Uh, I do want to play a set of Twisters, this is number two. So if we can get that second Twin Twister that out of this box to make three in total... I will be happy, but I also would be happy if we could run into a secret or two. So again, beacon. Are we going to get beast eyes? We do get beast eyes. So, hmm, maybe that is something then. Beacon goes with beast eyes. Well, let's see how the packs turn out with this then. All right, focus quick. Uh, okay, Buster Wealth. Goat. Goat. We got there. Oh, that's Magnet. Okay. That was Magnet. Getting the whole mat covered here with cards. Then again, this is more cards than it was before. Mistaken accusation. Okay. I'll go your defender, and well, there's a Cosmo tin can, so there's another ultra out of here. 
So we'll do the final count at the end, but thus far we have three ultras, and we're only halfway through. Not even halfway through, there's still one more pack to go. So yeah, like I said, we'll do a final count, so to speak, um, to say, hey, which, did we get more than what you normally would get? Um, in this case, since there's six extras, we expect to get, I'd say, roughly five ultras then. And then if we get that third secret, it would be a plus. Let's see that bent. And well, there we go. We got two ultras in this one. We got the Cosmo Tin Can, and we also got another Buster Blader, the Destruction Swordmaster. So two ultras in this box, which again amounts to being better. We're already at four ultras, and we still got five pack, five uh, little container things of this to go. And are we going to get that same thing? So Beacon of Light, will we get Beast Eyes Pendulum Dragon? We do! So I'm starting to see a pattern here, guys, where Beaconing of Light goes with Beast Eyes. So they're packing them together. So if you can see in that box that it's Beacon of White, or you can see the, you can see the fusion, so kind of to speak, you know, probably right there. Um, there, there's, <laughs> there's number 23, you can see that there, because um, it's slipped out to the side. But if you can see that there, um, more than likely we'll find out if it's the Draco spell card. So, you know, at the store, if you know I want to get a certain, you know, one, I want to get a certain promo card, that will help you guys out. So, oh, Goyo Emperor. Did not have Goyo Emperor, did I? I don't think I did um, as a rare. But, uh, okay, well, there's our play set of this for sure. Okay, Goyo Emperor. Was Goyo Emperor a short printed rare? Monkey board. I'm not rimping him! <laughs> I'm not, I don't rip cards. I'm, I don't hate them that much, especially if this shoots back up, like shoots up in price at one point. You know, it becomes like a four dollar rare because everyone just tossed him aside now after <laughs> hit right, Simone. You know who you are because I just called you out on it, uh, Trump girl. Yeah, that is like, well, how did that have to come out in a time where we got an election with Trump? What, Trump girl? Oh, uh, yeah, it's just like perfect timing for cards. Okay, Odd Eyes Retro Dragon. And the rest of them. Okay, so super there. Looks like I double stacked this one, so that's fine. At the end of the day, they're the commons. So I just want to keep in tabs of where everything came from. But, uh, okay, more Trump Girl. Um, oh, one of the kaijus, the Mothra kaiju, Mystery Dust kaiju, and Cosmo Dark Eclipser. So here's our first secret. Uh, not one of the more sought-after secrets necessarily right now. Um, definitely, I still need my so my Infinity. I still need Infinity for my Dino Mist deck. I haven't went out and bought them because I knew these were coming. So hopefully you can pull Infinity. But, uh, okay, well, we got one secret now. And we're more than halfway through, so hopefully we can run into another secret in the process here. All right, pack number six. And this is the one that had the lance, so, and there it is, Forge of the True Draco. So looks like they're packing them about at the same. So Forge and 23, if we get through all of them and we figure that out, then we'll know. And that will be your hint for the day, guys, how to tell if you can see it in the box and you're at the store, you know how you can get the certain one you're looking for. As long as it's not the spell <laughs> that's in front, uh, it doesn't seem to be the case. It looks like it's the, you know, either Beast Eyes or Lancelot at the front. So if you're looking at it from the front, you should be able to see by purple or black. Um, and go from there. Or goats. Mm -hmm. But, again, sorry guys, long video, a lot of talking, a lot of discussing here um, on things. Uh, Goyo King, and, well, there's Odd Eyes Gravity Dragon. Okay, well, that's another nice ultra. So there's our fifth ultra then. So that completes that ratio sort of printing. But hopefully we can still get the secret then instead. 
get that second secret. Uh, which one is this? This is Twilight Ninja Getsuga. And Tuning Magician. Okay. Mm hmm. So, we're at the breaking point for the Ultras. But now we're down to three. So we still need that secret to come through. Beacon of White. So does this mean Beast Eyes? It does. Okay, I'm feeling very confident with this. we got two more bot containers to go. And we'll know for certain... Or not against certain, I mean, I can't guarantee anything, maybe it's just this box. But it, it starts to build a pattern. And if I look at any of the other, I haven't watched any of the pullings from anybody else's set yet um, of special editions. But um, we'll find that out later. If they have the same kind of setup. If they do, then my method works. But come on, we still need that secret. We need that secret. I want to break even at least with that, because it's understandable if you don't get a third. But um, I would like to at least get to Timebreaker Magician. I don't remember getting him as a rare. Okay, uh, another Chimera Tech. I don't remember getting him as a rare in my other one, so I guess maybe he's the first one that I've gotten. And they'll have to go to look to finish off his playset. Just trying to remember everything off the top of my head of what I pulled out of there. Maybe I should just watch my video of it. Tomb Buster and, well, Master Pendulum, the Draco Slayer. So that's a good, another good super. But, mmm, now we're pushing our luck right now. Um, we're pushing our luck for that secret. We're down to two. So out of eight of these containers, which mean 8, 16, 24, we only got one. Forge. So Lancelot, Lancelot. There we go. Fender. Well, we got a Buster Blader, the Draco Destroying Swordmaster, as a secret. So there's our second secret. Again, not the secrets. I'm hoping for here, but it's two secrets, so we got the ratio right. Um, so the only thing, everything that's from here is a plus, I guess. Um, but mm, I really would have loved to see one of the secret that I wanted out of here. Um, you know, everybody does. Everybody wants to pull that infinity. Everybody wants to pull that solemn strike or something like that. Uh, obviously, it goes to show how hard this darn thing is to pull. You know, short printed secrets, right? Stick in, fiendish. Well, another master pendulum. Oh, come on. Can we get um, another ultra out of here? Can we get something extra? That's what we want to see. We want to see extras. And those were back on boxes that weren't guaranteed. Um, supers hollows so i mean i had three in those boxes i find it hard that you can't pull a third out of here hmm all right then well we're down to the last box we are down to the last one maybe i should have had haruhi out today this is the this is the deciding factor yep there it is um so if any of the other guys out there who are doing their openings live uh recording if they have that same situation, now you guys know if you take a box and you can look at it and you can see maybe at the corner, see the color at the top. If it's black, if it's purple, you'll know what the um, promos are then so you can kind of control your ratio. At least that's what this box tells me. If every other box does the same thing, then we'll know for sure. But come on, can we get something more than a super out of here? Oh. There's a Super Kaiju Slumber. And in the end, I too, I'd really need one of those secrets to make the box worth its weight in price. <laughs> you know, kind of to say, hey, you know, it's worth it's worth buying it. 
Unless they decided to short print those. Those are going to tick me off if those were short printed. Oh, man. We're going to we're going to be up that hill, guys. Up that hill with nothing to show for it. Last pack. Nothing to show for it. So this man, don't complain about your neg 600. <laughs> You're pulling double infinities and double wraps when here I am with this box and it coming out with well, two twin twisters. But uh, again, man, I'm, I feel disappointed. Um, I feel disappointed. But um, that's what we got, guys. So in terms of it, we broke sort of the ratio, the right ratio. Um, based on it, we did get so you one um, ultra to six packs. We got five of them. That makes sense. All the rest being supers, a couple twin twisters, a couple Draco uh, uh, Master Pendulums. Uh, we got all our rares, obviously, here. And then we did get our two secrets, uh, in this case, Dark Eclipser and uh, Dragon Destroyer Swordsmaster. Not the ones I wanted. You know, I, I, I want Wrath. I want Infinity. I'd love a Solemn Strike. But um, looks like my luck is not doing so well with the pack openings. Guess I got to go back to Ari <laughs> next time I do one of these uh, newer sets again. But other than that, this has been Newman Pro once again saying, get your game on to a slightly elevated level. <clears throat>